Yo. Ha ha. Uh, Bill uh, Nipperson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy, Bill Nipperson, coming back with another quick video. I want to show you the Painting VR app in the MetaQuest Pro. This is AR VR technology, so you are looking at my basement. Um, but I don't like this. I don't know if you can see this. You should be able to see it. But you see how everything is just pretty much out of, I don't know, order. <laughs> You can scale like the entire area that you're going to be painting in. Um, so this will be automatically adjusted accordingly, but me haven't done that yet. So what I'm going to do is manually move the, I think this is the canvas as I'm knocking the paint all over the place. <laughs> we'll put that right here. I'm going to lock that into place. Um, and I need to pick up these. This, this, uh, this is, this is bad. I'm sorry, guys. Put the paint here. Just dripping it all look you can drip it all over the place if i wanted to i think that's pretty cool um you put the yellow one here and i'll put the green one right here so then what i'm gonna do is take the mixture paint mixture uh i'll put it right here i'm just putting things in a place as i'm trying to set up you know if you are a painter this is actually a good virtual reality app let me unlock this we're going to move this desk, hopefully nothing spills. Oh, there goes the paintbrush right on the top of it. Move the desk right here. Again, this is just temporary. Don't worry about it. Your boy is still setting up. <laughs> he is still setting up. I want to show you one of the benefits, actually, of using this as a painter, especially if somebody you haven't used painting or done painting before. This, to me, is probably one of the best ideas I've ever seen in terms of a virtual reality headset. Look at me. I am so clumsy. So clumsy. Oh, by the way, this thing right here, <laughs> this actually is a bucket that you can take um dip your brush in i guess when you're done painting to clear things up got a little table here this is a sponge where you can take the sponge gotta unlock this you can take the sponge and kind of clean off the actual canvas if that makes sense i'll just put that right here for now i think i saw something else but i'm not sure let me put the paint back on here so as i'm pouring it all over the place now actually Move this over a little bit more. All right, so let me lock this in position so that can't move. Lock this in position so that can't move. Did I forget anything? Oh, chesty spray. Never know when I can use that. And let me put the up. Oh, look at me dropping my brushes. I'm all over the place. Check this out. This is realistic because you can actually take the brush, put it in there. Um, I don't know if I can just climb under there. And there you go. I guess this is the marker. I'll put this in here for now. So. This has all types of capabilities. And what I'm noticing is that like if you're a person and you're really serious about painting and you have a canvas right in front of you, um, actually, you know what? Let's just get started. So let's just say if I wanted to start a new canvas and I do landscape more, portrait or square. Um, if I want to adjust the height, I can, the width, I can. You notice that it's going... I don't know, well, that's a little bit too high. I'm going to do landscape mode. And what I'll do is I'll adjust the width right here. So I'm going to hit ready. And this is a canvas. So let's just say, you know what? Milt Nificent decided to be, let me lock this too. So it doesn't move. Milt Nificent decided to be, um, you know, Michelangelo, right? For a second. So. Uh, one of the benefits you can do, you can do multiple colors if you want advanced colors. I believe that's in your color wheel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but one of the benefits you can do is the interaction with, okay, mixed reality. So you're looking at kind of my hands sort of right here, but this is the actual virtual hand, me holding the controller. You'll be able to see that. Uh, stuff like the, the interaction between the, the actual paint colors, right? taking green and yellow and kind of combining it together or if i take yellow and white <laughs> you get what i'm saying you can get some egg white there egg white well you know what i mean but anyway i can do stuff like you know this right i'm just gonna do a little i'll do a little demo a little paint job here i'm gonna do some art and call it milton if it's an art All right just blue now you can do this obviously a different way with a paintbrush, <laughs> I'm just showing you the, the benefits of using stuff like this. And of course, uh, you have that ability. Like I said, this has blue in it, so I can 
kind of dibble dabble in there and get that white. <laughs> uh, if I wanted to put this in here, you know, I can wham, wham. I mean, look at the accuracy of this virtual reality app. I think that this is dope. Of course, the reason why you see the blended colors, um, obviously, because there's is there paint, is there paint, there's paint spilling in the background. What am I doing? Here? Let me put this in here real quick. There's paint spilling in the background. That's probably because I knocked it down. Let me put this back up. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so you see how it blends the colors all together? Check this out. If I took my hand and I wiped it, how dope is this? Like literally taking my hand and smearing it all over the canvas at this, as if I was doing it in kind of reality, right? Um, of course, one of the benefits is, look, you actually see my hand. <laughs> my hand is mixed up. Um, again, a couple things you can do, like uh, I've seen uh, anywhere from the actual spray paint used. Um, I'm not sure yet how to actually change the colors and stuff like that, but I know this is a blend. So if I took, let's see, if I took a paintbrush, still learning, um, and then I hit kind of like the pink. Actually, let me let me make this clean, and I hit the the pink, and I want to mix it in with some. Yellow? I feel like the guy with the afro from PBS. The more you practice, the better it becomes. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Like You get to mix those colors and you can write, you know, <laughs> milk, the, uh, let me get some more in here. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Now we're getting there. Jesus, did I just spell that wrong? C N T N T. Goodness gracious, no. Anyway, just showing you guys like what the capabilities are, and actually, <laughs> you can tell I'm actually having fun with this. I'm sitting here and I'm actually interacting with you guys, showing you guys AR and VR technology as a whole. This could be fun for somebody that has, or at least likes to deal with different type of artistic ideas. Um, my interaction with this is it's actually really really good and. Actually, what you can do is when you're done with your canvas or your painting, um, you can take these drawings and you can save them. Um, and if you're using the Spatial app, like Spatial IO, you can take these photos, upload it into a template that has like an art gallery, and you can kind of display all your artwork that you do in virtual reality um, so people can see that. And you can, you can actually, I'm giving you ideas right now. <laughs> I'm giving you ideas. Matter of fact, if you have. Facebook Horizons workspace, you can actually interact with different businesses, you know, so you want to, maybe you want to start a business and you want people to see your artwork. Hey, I'm just, listen, I'm giving you guys free game, but the painting VR app to me in reality is just, it's fantastic. The capabilities are endless. Um, I haven't really been in here for a while, but I picked up on so many different things on how to do uh, different types of uh, demos, <laughs> at least with this. Um, I don't know too much about art, but I can tell you that the fact that you can interact in virtual reality uh, mixed with reality, um, it's, it's phenomenal. <laughs> this is phenomenal. But your boy, Mill Nipson, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to continue on get my painting. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get my paint on. Let me just dip this in here. All right. Which one should I use? I'm just going to pick this up. Just dip this in yellow. And look, 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 look. Look, look at that. Look at this. That is crazy. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. I'm not done yet. Let me. You know how artists work? They just. Artists sometimes just like slap things on there. So let me just. What happens if I just take this and just slap it? You know, just bam. Oof. Wow. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, man. Your boy, Bill Nipperson. Let me get out of here. <laughs> you guys. Stay blessed.